hello 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 hi my youtube family what's up what's up what's up this is your girl classy c how are you all i hope all is well with you all listen i'm coming on here because i want to talk about what i talked about on my last video i kind of just want to do a part two um on my last video, I talked about why should I eat the word of God? Why should you eat the word of God? And I gave you all some points on or some key points on why you should eat the word of God. How many of you know that it's very, very important to study the word of God, especially nowadays? It's very, very important to study the word of God. Remember, I talked about, you know, feeding your spirit man. You cannot live this world without pouring into your feet, uh, or, or I would say p uh, feeding your spirit man. You cannot survive through trials and tribulation, guys, if you're not filling your spirit man up with the word of God. Because when you're going through, when it's good and when it's bad, you want to be able to um, 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 stand on God's word. Okay, you want to be able to stand on God's word. So in the last video, again, I talked about why should you eat the word of God and why should I eat the word of God? And the first point that I gave you was to is because so you can be able to avoid and overcome um, temptation. Right. And then uh, number two was. I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking at my notes. Uh, number two was to obey God's will. You want to obey his will. Obedience is better, uh, better than sacrifice. And then number three is to know God. So you are studying your word. There is a purpose. There is a reason why God wants us to study his word. Because we, we have to be ready when an enemy comes. We got to be ready when the enemy comes and try, you know, to tempt us, try to manipulate us, try to deceive us. We have to have the word of God inside of us. We have to stand on God's word. We got to be ready. And when, when trials and tribulations, when a storm come, we got to have his word. We got to have his word inside of us. So that way we won't be looking at the trials and the tribulations. You won't focus on the storm, but you will be able to focus on his word. So you got to feed your spirit, man. You got to know God. You have to know him. How do you know where you're going if you're not studying the word of God? How do you know his will? For your life if you're not studying his word all right so that's what we talked about in the last video and again uh being obedient to his will so that's what we talked about so here in this video um i just want to give you all a few tips right so we said um how do i study the word of god i mean eat the word of god so now uh, i'm sorry why should i eat the word of god so now i just want to give you a few tips you know, when you get ready to study the word of God, these are just a few, some key points. What should you do um, before or right in the midst you are getting ready to study the word of God? Sometimes, you know, some people struggle, you know what I'm saying, with studying the word because, you know, um, that is 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 for different reasons you know some people feel like that it's boring some people feel like you know uh they can't get with the these and the thous you know um some people feel like that they really can't you know comprehend you know uh the word of god and then some people you know feel like that uh especially with the parables you know um, it's like, man, I don't understand this. So I just want to give you uh, just a few key points on what you should do or the preparation of studying his word. Okay. The preparation of studying God's word. So how do you prepare yourself? Number one, you got to prepare yourself um, to study his word by number one. You should always, always, always do this before you study the word of God is number one, you have to pray. You got to pray, you got to pray, you got to pray. And I'm going to tell you why, that you should pray before you begin to study the word of God. It is in John 14, 26. John 14, 26 and John 14, 26 reads this. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach 
you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I said unto you. So number one, you have to pray. You got to pray. Uh, why? Because you have a comforter. You have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is here to teach you. The Holy Spirit is here to help you. So right before you begin to, to uh, study the word of God, you should always pray. Pray and ask the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, give me wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual understanding, or give me your understanding. You should always ask for wisdom, knowledge, and his understanding, all right? Then you ask the Lord, you know, you can ask God, teach me. Teach me the truth. Teach me the truth because his word is the truth, all right? And that's, that's you know, one of the reasons why you study too, because you want to know the truth. You want the truth to be revealed to you. All right. So you teach, you ask to him in your prayer, Lord, give me wisdom, knowledge, and under, your understanding and teach me the truth. And God, help me to love your word because you want to have a love for his word. All right. So you want to love God's word because when you love something, you're going to keep coming after it. All right. So uh, that's why you should pray because you have help. Before you begin to uh, study the word of God, I want you to know that you have help. It's right here in John 14, 26. The comforter is with you. Your helper is with you. The Holy Ghost is with you to help you with the word of God. All right. So number two, preparation. We're talking about preparation um, in the midst of studying God's word. I'm looking at my notes, guys. So number two. You have to, so once you finish praying, you know, you ask the Lord for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You ask him to teach you. You ask him to give, uh, to give you, uh, a, a love for his word. Now you have to position yourself to receive. All right. You got to receive his word. So that's enough. That's point number two, receive his word. That's how you're preparing yourself because you're preparing yourself to receive. How I many you know that when you believe you receive, all right, because you just finished praying and you believe that God is getting ready to give you wisdom, knowledge, and his understanding. You believe that God is getting ready to reveal the truth to you. You believe that God is getting ready to give you a love for his word. So now you are preparing yourself to receive. Hallelujah. All right. So turn with me to Proverbs. Proverbs 2 and 1. Proverbs 2 and 1. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's get this word. Proverbs 2 and 1. Where are you? And Proverbs 2 and 1, it, uh, and 1 reads, my son, if thou will receive my words, I'm going to read that, that part again. If thou, my son, if thou will receive my words and hide my commandments with thee. So here it is right here. The word of God, it says that if, if thou will receive my words, so God want us to receive his word. I'm going to say that again. While you're studying the word of God, he wants you to receive it. When you receive something, well, when you believe something, when you, I'm sorry, when you receive it, you believe it. When you believe it, then you act upon it. All right. So he want us to receive his word. He want us to put, as we receive it, he want us to uh, put his words on our heart, put his words in our emotions. Come on, put his words in our thoughts, put his words in our inner man. So God wants you to receive his word. When you receive his word you look when there's a saying when you know better you will do better so when you receive his word you will do better when you receive his word you will live right when you see when you receive his word you will walk up right hallelujah so god wants you to receive his word all right the bible says uh to be uh not, uh oh my god um i can't think of the scripture right it'll come to me um Oh, that we must be not only hearers of the word, but doers of the word. And that's why he want us to receive it so we can follow his, his word, so we can do his word. All right. So that was number two, preparation. We're talking about preparation um, and studying before I begin to study his word. How can I prepare myself? How do I prepare myself? So we said, number one, you got to pray. Because why? Because you have a comforter. You have the Holy Spirit that's going to teach you. You got the Holy Spirit that's going to bring things, all things to your remembrance. All right. And then number two, uh, preparation of studying his word. Come on, receive. You got to open up to receive his word. All right. So let's go. Number three, number three. How do I prepare 
to study the word of God. How do I prepare myself to study the word of God? Number three, you got to love it. I mentioned this um, um earlier in one of the points. I think that was in point. Yeah, point number one. When I said that, you know, when you begin to pray, that's one of the things that you should ask for. Ask God to give you a love for his word, which is my point number three. You got to love his word. How many of you know that when you love something, you believe in it, you, you will follow it, you will go after it, you will chase after it, you will be hungry for it, you will be thirsty for it. Come on. So you have to now love his word. See, when you love God's word, come on, you it's, it's not a day that goes by, you know, with uh, that you can't go out with it, go without his word. You'll be feeling some type of way when you miss reading the word of God. I know I do. I, I can even feel when my spirit man is, is craving for his word, for the word of God. See, see, we can't just only be concerned about our outer parents. We can't only be concerned about our natural man. We got to be concerned about our spirit man. Yeah, we got to be concerned about our spirit man. So we got to have a love for his word. Turn with me to Psalms 119. And 97, Psalms 119 and 97. And so the word reads, oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Psalms 119 and 97. That's what it reads. And I believe in this scripture um, that is basically saying that he, he, that he loves God's word. He loves it so much that he's meditating on the word of God. He's thinking about the word. He's allowing the word to penetrate in him. He, he's allowing himself to meditate on his word. Think about it. Uh, 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 apply it to his life. How can I apply this word to my life? Because I love it so much. Okay. And so that's how we have to be. We have to love his word. When you love something, you're passionate about it. When you love something, you spend time with it. Come on. God's word, it is sweeter than honey. Come on. Come on. His word is a lamp unto my feet. It's a lamp unto your feet. And it is a light unto my path. It's a light unto your path. Come on. And so it's better. Come on. The word of God is better than rubies. Come on. It gives us long life and it cleanses us. So we have to get to a point where we love God's word. We got to get to a point where we love God's word. All right. And then a last point, preparing, preparing. Well, actually this is, uh, well, I had already said this just basically, um, when you love his word, you allow, you allowing yourself to meditate on it. Okay. And so that's pretty much it guys. Um, I just want to come on here really quickly, you know, and just give you all some key points on how to prepare yourself, um, or put yourself in a position to study the word of God. Number one, what I say for number one, guys, I'm wait. Number one, always pray. Why? Because you have help. You have help. Number two, you got to receive the word. Number three, you got to love the word. And number, you know what? I do have a point. Number four, this is a, this is a really good point. Number four is if you have a King James Version Bible and that's complicated for you, it's, it's kind of hard. Because I know when I started off reading, reading King James Version, I was like, this this is too much. All these these thou's trying to remember, okay, the uh, 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 means, uh, I, you know, I, you know, just, it was just too much for me. I was just like, I can't, this is too much. I don't understand this. Go to a Bible store or ask someone that you know that, uh, that studies the word of God, you know, to give you some references, you know, uh, uh, uh what Bible should you get, you know, to study his word. Um, me, I have King James Version uh, Living. This is the study, study Bible. Um, and actually, guys, this is my Bible. Yep, it's all ripped up. It is my Fola Bible. Actually, I got to get, I have to get a new one. And I am going to get a new one, but it won't be this. But this is really good. 
This is the King James uh, New Living Study Bible. King James New Living Study Bible. And I purchased it on um, Amazon. So maybe you can look that up and see, you know, if you want to get that. Um, but other than that, ask somebody. Go to a Bible store, Bible bookstore, and ask them, you know, um, what Bible can you purchase to get. I just ask for a study Bible. Ask for a study Bible, or you can ask someone that you know, you know, to um, refer you to the Bible that, you know, that's a little more, you know, understanding okay so um that's all guys that's all i want to give y'all you know i love encouraging you all i really do it when i encourage you all it encouraged me <laughs> so um that's pretty much it guys uh just remember to study his word uh remember to prepare yourself you know before you begin to study god's word always always pray always because you do have help you do have help. All right. So, um, that's pretty much it with the encouraging words. I do want to, um, I do want to drop this nugget, you know, um, with you also, I want to leave y'all with this. Y'all know, or some of you all know that I started or I began my online boutique. Woo! As you all, uh, what's well, for some of you all know, I retired from my job. I left my job uh, last year in July. I do have a video up, you know, explaining that. So for those that are new to my channel, you can go back and, you know, um, look at my testimony. But yeah, I left my job because the Lord gave me a green light to go. I left my job July 1st of last year um, to um, go fully into um, being an entrepreneur a full entrepreneur. Um, and I just thank God for that. So again, I started my online boutique and I would love for you all to go on my website. It is called walking in confidence, number one.com walking in confidence, number one.com. Please click on the shop button and please purchase something, you know, purchase, uh, what you like, you know, um, and you will, you will, yes, I do. You know, if you're in another state, I'll mail it out to you. Um, but it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. So please check out my website and I'm going to share some photos with you guys on this video. So you all can see what I have in my inventory. All right. So again, um, God bless you all. Please hit those buttons click those buttons, like, subscribe, like, and share. Subscribe, like, and share. And again, this is your girl, Classy C. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. I love you. Study your word. Bye.